Hello everyone there. I hope everyone is doing well and yes, you are all eagerly waiting for the D-Day. The day you're going to write your examination that is for NEAT to get through it in flying colors and enroll yourself in your dream colleges, isn't it? Yes. Let's now see what the dress code is. Pandemic has put everyone in a tough position, but there is nothing tough when it comes to the brain power, isn't it? So I'm sure everyone has got themselves ready for this examination. So the minor things that sometimes you might overlook, it is something interconnected to dress. And so be careful. Let us now go through all the details and find out what is what and what you have to avoid. So all the medical aspirants for the NEET examination must compulsorily follow the strict dress code which has been laid down by National Testing Agency that is the NTA. We look very clearly into what is for girls and what is for boys in the next slides. So dress code which is allowed in case you see the way it is here, you can understand very clearly what are the things that certain people can wear whether it is girls or boys. You can see the footwear. This footwear is acceptable for all of them. You might not be doing that with the regular days but for this examination always open toes. Toes must be seen and even the soles also they must be flat. The flatter, the better. You can also go for sandals in this manner where your toes can be seen. They shouldn't be open. So when it comes to the tops or the shirts, they should not be full sleeves. Remember that. Only half sleeves or even sleeveless, both are accepted. If you have any problem with your vision and you already had given a photograph with your spectacles, yes, they're allowed, but not the goggles. So be careful of that. And what are the things which are not allowed? You are not supposed to carry any of these items which have metals in them. And it comes even to your wallet. You are not supposed to carry a wallet. Girls, no pins, hair clips, any kind of jewelry, any metallic thing is not allowed. Even your caps, in case anyone has tonsured their head and they feel ashamed, please don't feel that. An examination is an examination. So please do not put any cap on your head. Not only cap, any headgear should not be there. So watches of all sorts, you have certain beads, high heels, boots, high heeled again sandals, all these things are not allowed. Irrespective of the gender, certain things are common and one important thing which is compulsory for all of them is, I should say are two, not one, it is two. Gloves, mask. You must compulsorily come only with those things. If you do not come with those things, it's going to be a problem. So the dress code that you follow along with that, these two things must be with you. I had already told sanitizers, your gloves, your mask. Better go for surgical mask than any other mask. That will be the best option. You can wear even double also to protect yourself as well as whoever is close to you. So be very careful and follow the rules strictly. So what's next? See again these are certain points which are repeatedly told. I had taken the whole thing from NTA so that you will be able to understand what is what. So do not go away from the dress code. Adhere strictly to the dress code laid by the NTA. Again, there is clearly given about what the male should wear and what the female should wear. So let me read each of it and explain it to you. So because of this COVID safety guidelines, all the candidates must wear mask and gloves. And other than that, what else should you do? You must also wear only half sleeve shirt, or you can also go for sleeveless shirt, but you should not wear any full sleeves. No full sleeves shirts, please. You are not allowed to wear that. So be careful. And even when it comes to the colors, also go for lighter shades so that it will be easy. See, all these things are done only for one reason. And what's that one reason? No malpractice should be done. 
and in order to save your time and save the people who are going to frisk you better be on the safe side so don't ever give anyone a chance to get a doubt that you are doing something wrong understood and what else you must also wear clothes which are you know light and when it comes to zip pockets pockets big buttons these things should not be there be very careful no zippers please do not go for the zips especially with the pockets and the zips you should not have even when there are pockets also they should not be there and big size buttons no please do not wear anything with the big buttons and your clothes should not have any kind of elaborate embroidery no it should be plain it should be simple so what will you do take those clothes in which you are going to be comfortable maybe cotton ones maybe hosiery whichever it is light colored ones and which is not going to attract anyone's attention that must be your target because the sooner you get into your examination hall without any hassles you will be able to write the examination free from tension and that is your goal isn't it when you get tension it's not going to be good so be careful about these clothes so males or females you must compulsorily wear mask and you must also wear gloves this matter is repeatedly told so that no one will miss it it is for your benefit that it is told repeatedly so let's see what's there in the next slide so coming to the lower portion of your clothing that is your trousers simple pants they are acceptable but not jeans you are not supposed to wear jeans and you are not allowed to wear even the kurta pajama style it is because it's not safe you can conceal anything and so you are not allowed to wear this kurta pajama so trousers and simple pants yes you can come in them shoes prohibited it is because they cover your toes and it's wrong no high heels also nothing which is going to catch the attention of the invigilators or the people who frisk you before you enter the examination hall so all of you all it's advisable that you wear sandals and chappal and very thin sole no high heels never do that be safe so what's the next thing that we have here we have the pictures it can be the boys that is the males who could use such kind of things you see very simple shirt and trousers and pants and the footwear where your toes can be seen very clearly don't go for jeans with big pockets big buttons and all those things no full sleeve shirts please no kurta pajama no shoes nothing with the zippers please don't do that but all the time you must have your mask and your gloves be safe and what about the females females are all the time you know getting ready to go to any kind of an occasion with a lot of jewelry so now is not the time girls so be careful you are not supposed to wear any kind of necklaces bracelets anklets no it is because the metal detectors will you know they'll stop and you'll have to be frisked again and again check carefully whether you have something why should we waste our time why should we unnecessarily get tensed isn't it instead never have even no ring also don't don't have anything and gloves mask same like the others that is the boys or the males do not wear elaborate embroidery whether it is males or females it's because we know i don't want to make it very specific chances are there for anything to be hidden and you can get an opportunity to do any sort of a negative thing it's like you know inviting attention so don't go for anything which has elaborate embroidery also even for you no big buttons nothing which can get a chance for concealing anything it's only because you have to write it in fair means not in unfair means so i hope everything is clear here you can also read it you can understand 
and just like the males the females also should not wear full sleeves no please on the day of the examination you should be only with half sleeves or sleeveless even that is also acceptable and in case you are wearing pants only normal variety of pants and trousers but not jeans no big pockets please the nti is not going to accept that nothing must be fashionable go in for simple ones it's as if you are sitting at home and you are comfortable you will be writing the examination as if you are at home you will not have any kind of you know tension come on checking this checking that you are free you are comfortable you will write in case you have all those metallic things you know jewelry that this it can cause any kind of a disturbance so in both the ways it's good for you when it's good for you you will be able to do better isn't it so follow the rules and regulations strictly do not go in any way in the other path so even for you all girls that is the females no high heels no thick soles for your footwear you can go for sandals you can go for slippers preferably low heels you know the heels must be very low and i already told you nose rings must also be avoided finger rings nose rings jewelry of any material no please do not come with any kind of jewelry so here we have the picture of the clothing that the females can wear you can have in this variety usually looser one simple ones your trousers or your pants you can have your kurta pajama style in a normal way and the footwear with thin soles and when it is here no embroidery no high heel footwear no shoes no metallic things whether it's for ears for your nose for your fingers around your neck nowhere you should not have it anywhere and there are certain students who follow particular religion and if at all it is customary for them at the time of filling the form itself that is the neat application form those students might have written that they have to come with a particular dress code as per their religion it is accepted only if at all they had entered it at the time of writing the application filling the application so what should these students do they should come one more hour earlier than the others it is because see if at all your examination is starting something around 130 you must come minimum one more hour earlier others itself come one hour you come one more hour, hour earlier and that is done for the sake of checking how thorough you are without any unwanted material with you so that the examination goes on in a fair way and these are the things that some of them would like to come whether it depends from religion to religion in case you had written in your examination that you are going to follow them yes you can do whoever it is whether you are coming with your traditional clothing or you are coming in a simple clothing as prescribed by the nta do not forget your mask and your gloves i hope you have liked the video if you have liked it don't forget to share like and subscribe to our channel write your examination well good luck